Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Risk Analytica. Today, a topic of the video is financial spreading. Now, financial spreading is basically, it is a process used by a bank or any financial institution in the lending process. So now what exactly the lending process, I have already explained you earlier that when a bank or financial institution, they lend money. So in a nutshell, that is the function. So now financial spreading is basically to spread out the information. Spread out the information means we should see this document parts before jumping to the purposes and and to understand the proper meaning, we should know what are the documents that are required. So now when a bank or any financial institution, they lend money to the borrower, first and foremost, they will ask the borrower to provide them with the annual report or financial statements. That includes their profit or loss account, balance sheet, cash flow statement, and the changes in equity. Now, this will be presented by the company's accountant, I mean, the borrower's accountant, but when a lender will assess those things, they will cross verify and they will see that if the informations are properly presented or not, it can be any non-operational activities are included as part of operating profit or not. Even how the assets and the liabilities and the balance sheet are categorized. So, and what are the notes sections? So in a nutshell, these are the thing. A bank or any financial institution, I mean that the lenders, financial analyst, they will evaluate, they will assess, and they will further prepare all those statements as per the bank's approach, as well as the global standard. Okay, so now the financial spreading, it is indeed a key process used by the banks or any financial institution during credit analysis. And definitely when they assess the credit worthiness of the borrower. So this is the first purpose is that why financial spreading is required. And it also involves taking the financial statement of the borrower, which I have explained. and then once the informations are provided, then the financial spreader or the financial analyst, they will uh, no, prepare that in a standard format or reformat rather, okay? And spread them into a standardized temp template. So this standardized template is specific to a particular bank or financial institution. And this template will help the bank or the lender easier to compare across different companies and the industries. I mean to say the peer-to-peer -peer comparison, how company A is performing and how company B is performing when lending money. Suppose the lender has two types of request of loan, one from the company A, one from the company B, and in order to assess their credit worthiness, or the customer risk rating or the probability of default, they would initiate the financial spreading. Now the purposes again, the second purpose is customer risk rating. We all know for the individual it is civil score, but for any corporate or any bank whom we are lending money, we will decide the customer risk rating and along with the probability of default. So only with the help of this financial spreading process, we will get the backbone of the borrower. I mean to say the financial of the borrower, how they have performed and what is their status of assets and liabilities and their financial results. Also the cash outflow or inflow, everything will be decided. These are the preambles other than the quantitative for the financial, there are other metrics are required, which I will cover in the subsequent session. 
okay now type of annual report which has been sent by the companies uh, i mean to say the borrower it can be a recognized financial or it can be unrecognized financial recognized financials are those which are audited by the company's accountant sorry which are audited by big four it can be pwc kpmg deloitte ernst and young or any audited firm they are duly signing it and they are also giving their opinion that whether the financials are prepared by the borrower is qualified or unqualified okay if there are no findings from the auditor side then the financial will be known as unqualified the opinion will be given by the auditor is unqualified unrecognized financials are those which are not audited which can be prepared by the company's internal accountant just to see the projections that how the company will perform in the next year or the subsequent years or any forecasting so those financials will not be audited and the auditor's signature date opinion will not be mentioned those cases those financial will be termed as unrecognized financial okay now the purpose of financial spreading the first purpose is would be the credit risk assessment the primary purpose of financial spreading is to assess the credit risk associated with the lending to a borrower okay so now by standardizing financial data a bank can evaluate the borrower's ability to pay the loan and determine the appropriate credit terms okay the second one is consistency and comparability financial spreading ensures that all the borrowers are evaluated consistently regardless of differences in accounting standard or financial reporting formats there are different financial reporting uh, no, standards are like us gap ifrs even in india it, in an accounting standard okay international accounting standards so now they should ensure that and this makes it very easier to compare the financial performance across different borrower third one is the regulatory compliance bank often need to comply with the regulatory requirement that dictate how credit risk should be assessed okay financial spreading helps ensure that the bank's credit analysis process meet these standards that is the requirement from the regulators and the final one is the decision making we all know by this term decision making is just the output of the financial spreading serves as the foundation of credit decisioning which also helps loan officer or the lender and credit committees make informed judgments about the lending this way the decision will be made next is the significance of financial spreading by this term so far whatever we have discussed we have pointed out the risk mitigation part like we should calculate the probability of default or the credit worthiness of the customer and the end result is to mitigate the risk risk means the risk of default we are we should not lend money to a borrower whom we are assuming or there is a high chance of probability of default so that risk should be mitigated so by thoroughly analyzing a borrower's financials bank can identify potential risk and take proper steps to mitigate them such as like you know any adjusting loan terms or requiring additional collateral so those functions will be applicable like if bank presumes that any risk is awaiting so they can change the payment term or the loan term or the collateral standard it also enhances the due diligence like financial spreading for a 
deeper understanding of a borrower's financial positions, which also includes the profit, profitability, liquidity, and the leverage. So these all are the part of the ratio analysis. I will cover a separate session on the ratio analysis, predominantly focusing on the profitability, liquidity, leverage. So this through, or we can say the thorough analysis reduces the likelihood of a loan default. And the last one is the industry insights. This process, I mean, say that the financial spreading also allows banks to identify industry specific risks and their trends, which can inform broader lending strategies and risk management practices. Okay. Now the next one is the important steps in the financial spreading. First one is the data collection, gather financial statement and any supplementary data provided by the borrower. It can be recognized or unrecognized financial standardization. Here the spreading again, like spread out the information, reformat the financial data into banks standardized template. This may involve adjusting line item to match the bank's specific format. Third one is the adjustment. Make necessary adjustment for differences in accounting standard, non-recurring items or non-operational items or any other factors that could distort the financial analysis. Okay. The fourth one is the ratio analysis. Sorry, there is an N. I will stand myself corrected. Ratio analysis. I have mentioned that there would be different types of ratios, lending based ratios like debt service coverage ratio, interest coverage ratio, working capital cycle, cash conversion cycle, liquidity, leverage, solvency, gearing. There are n number of important ratios which are generated based on the quantitative or the financial data provided by the borrower. The next one is the trend analysis, which is basically that analyze trends in the borrower's financial performance over time to time to assess the stability and growth potential. And the finally is scenario analysis, which performs stress test or scenario analysis to evaluate how the borrower's financials might change under different conditions. For example, like any economic downturns or interest rate hikes and all, okay? Now, what is the end result of financial spreading? Financial ratios, which I have mentioned, the key ratios, then credit rating, customer risk rating, which I have shown in my first and second slide, that an internal credit rating based on the borrower's financial performance and risk profile, then comes to your recommendation, a recommendation for loan approval, modification or rejection, including suggested terms, example, like interest rate or collateral requirement. And the final one is the risk assessment, a detailed risk assessment that identifies potential risk and suggest mitigations. So in the conclusion, we can say that this financial process culminates in a report or presentation that is used by the credit committee or the board of directors, a bank, uh, any lenders, board of directors to make lending decisions ensure that the bank's capital, which is the minimum working capital of a bank, is safe and allocated wisely, and that potential losses are minimized. That is the purpose of the financial spreading. In my next video, I will mention that how the financial process is initiated by the financial spreader or financial analyst. What are the tools are required? Those tools, just give you a hint, those tools are prepared by the big three like Moody's Credit Rating Agency, Standard & Poor Credit Rating Agency, Fitch Credit Rating Agencies. Okay, they have prepared certain criteria and it can also be customized by a bank or any financial institution as per their own conservative approach to minimize the losses and maximize profit and mitigate the risk, okay? And how to do the financial spreading for the profit or loss account, how to prepare the balance sheet, how to prepare the cash flow statement, what are the different line items are available in the financial, uh, while, while, uh, while uh, 
running or initiating the financial trading process, how to read adjustments uh, related to different notes mentioned in the annual report, how to read the board of directors decisions, which is also present in the annual report and how to read the auditor's opinion and how the customer risk rating will be calculated and simultaneously how the, uh, the financial ratios will be calculated. Okay, we'll see you in my next video. Thank you everyone for your time.